You lift an arm heavy. I don't know. I know I'm lifting tires. You know, I had to change the tire, the brakes on the Jeep. Those are big tires, man. I did that. Next day, I said, man, this is like weightlifting. <laughs> <laughs> These guys must be built like brick shit houses that do this. So I'm thinking, how come, how come, what, what? I suppose to progress on this side, you'd have to keep doing heavier tires or something. I don't know. But they still should have a pretty good bill, you know? Anyhow, yeah. So I'm pretty beat. And then one of them locked up, so I had to go over to there and check it out again. <sighs> The caliper, the thing is pushing on. I had to push it back. What do you call it? The caliper? I don't know what the hell it's called. I just do it. I took care of that. See if it's all right. All right. Manual labor should get you in pretty good shape. You know what I mean? I didn't start this till 65. Yeah, I did weights in between through my life. I never benched more than 225 in my life. So at 65 going on 66... Whatever it was, uh, I ended up at 66.9. I benched 330. So, you know, this idea you can't get strong is you go, oh, I've never been this strong. You know, certain lists. So, anyway, yeah. So, it's 2 a.m. So, I don't know if you call this burning the midnight oil or burning the a.m. oil or just chewing the fat with you. And I uh, want to rehash a few things. I'm still doing the uh, farmer's walks, they're real good. But I'd be very leery of if you, you know, you guys are really kicking up and you walk, I don't know how far you're walking, not that much. Just understand, yeah, everything's hooking in to this spine. The traps, there's connections in the back of the head, you know. You got all this stress on this neck part of your spine, your whole spine, but the neck, I was noticing my neck sore in here. So, you know, due diligence with that, all right? You know, don't go nuts. You know, like the 150, I can walk all, not walk all day, but I literally have done a 50 yard, go do some work, come back to the other 50 yard, another 50. You know, I can work it out through the whole day. That's how I play it. So anyway, you know, word to the wise, don't kill yourself, all right? I can notice, see, when I do something the next day or the day after, I start noticing where everything's. The muscles are sore, and the tendons are sore, and the bones are sore. And I evaluate, am I getting injured here? Am I just sore here? Am I done too much? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Word to the wise. All right, I'm going to rehash something, because I'm really, really doing them now. I just remembered it when I was showing you the concentration curls. But I started doing them last week, and this week, I already did a few sets. And, uh, brother... You know, if you don't want to do a lot of weight, this thing's getting me in a way. I mean, if you don't want to do a lot of reps, 10 reps is tops, okay? I do the one and a half so I can, I'm fried, you know, so. Let me just show what I'm talking about. One and a half, man. One and a half. All right, yeah. Be with me, fellas. It's, uh, no lie, almost quarter to three. So, you know, you can do your normal ones. I showed you how to do them here. I showed you do them on the incline. I showed you how to do them sitting down. I call them a Schwarzenegger when you're on the knee. But the one and a half, like this, I'd have to do 15. Because I've only got 25. Yeah, I can kick up the weight, but right now I'm on the lightweight. But I'm just saying, <laughs> if I go here, halfway now, that's a one. Two. I'm not lying now. Three. factor on it you can cut down on a rep a little bit but you really still actually you're still in more rep because that half is still a rep right right one and a half times ten is fifteen you dig what I'm saying and you can do it on any obviously you can do it on any lift 
Well, like on easy bar, same thing. Ugh. I'm sore from labor work. Same thing. Let me get my shot on it. Let me get the shot on it. Yeah, one. That's one, right? Now one and a half. Two. So, just to recap, the one and a halves on the curls work good. I suppose they work good on other stuff too. You could be the judge of that. But on the curls, it seems to be, uh, it's made for them curls. So that's it, fellas. <coughs> I'm going to knock out my sets, five sets of each. You know I do it. Maybe I'll do, uh, I like doing them easy for it. I don't know. I like doing a pullover still. You know, bench pullover. They're good. I, I recommend them too. Alright, so that's basically it. So I'm like here tonight. Well, I don't know, this is bullshit, huh? Yeah. So keep working out. Keep doing it. If the labor gets in the way and the chores, what I usually was doing, no matter what, when I went out and fed Maverick, I did some farmer's work worth 150 pounds. Uh, did a few springs in the house, the chest expanders. I'm always making sure I do some kind of muscle work, you know. But as for the curls, the one and a half, try it. I don't know if it's one and a half, right? You know what I'm saying? Just there and bang. Right under that tension. Right to where it's perpendicular to the ground. Right there in the back up. Right there, and back up. Boom. Pop them right up. Okay, fellas, that's about it. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for subscribing. Thumbs up, you know. Uh, I'm that pissed off I missed the clean of press last week. But, uh, I might get another bar, you know, because tonight I feel like I would have liked to have done some just overhead press off the rack. But, uh, I gotta yank the bar out of the, uh, truck and I got the Riding mower in there because I got to mow the lawns over here too. But I just got them done over there. It's just the way life is. And the babysitting. So you got to work your way into your life. That's why, you know, you get something done. Even if it's like I said, just do arms for a while. I knew a guy that just did arms as a teenager. He had arms just like a bodybuilder. It was the craziest thing. Everything else was bony, but his arms were like, bah, bah, bah. It's crazy. Belmore, New York, man. 60s. You know. You know. Anyhow, uh, okay. That's about it. I've been yakking away for eight minutes. Okay, fellas. Lips hard and heavy. All right. One and a half curls. Try them. Easy bar. Dumbbells. Single. That's another thing. Isolation. Peacher curls are isolation, right? Even a regular curl is in a way nice, but I kill it a compound. X is the way everything's pulling. So, feature curls are in isolation, but you can make it more of an isolation if you did dumbbells with it. Or well, like I adjust with this, okay? So, basically, listen to your body and, it, and adapt to what's ever going on in your life. There's no way I'm doing squats tonight. I'm fried, you know what I mean? But I'm still going to get something done. You know, I'm still going to get something done. I'm still going to uh, trigger some little, little bit of testosterone I got to give me a little spike. And uh, it's all going to go just to my arms. So maybe it'll do something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And like now, don't look at them. Look at them weak ass arms. Okay. So that's it, fellas. Lift hard and heavy. One and a half curls. And whatever the hell else I talk about, I can't remember. <sighs> no lines. Quarter to three. I got four more sets to do. Super sets. So I got eight more sets to do. And then I'll uh, see what's up on coast to coast and fall asleep. Alright? Hey, take care. Alright, bye.